Today, I have the privilege of interviewing Danny Brook from Lang Technic UK, and we're going to talk about a few of the products they supply, and we're going to start with the stamping unit and its benefits and why you should have one. Now, Danny, talk us through the stamping unit and the benefits customers have seen since adopting this technology. Yeah, thanks, Tom. I mean, the stamping technology really is the sort of beating heart of our product range. Um, you know, we have over a thousand companies in the UK that are using stamping machines and have them on their shop floors. And I thought it was just about time we really kind of go through the main benefits of it and really why we're using the stamping uh, technology as opposed to just using friction in the vice jaws. Now, a lot of people just put the vice in tighten it up as, as, as much as they can if they're not using a torque wrench. But with this, you don't need to do that. that that's exactly right. So you essentially, you're putting all of the force into the material outside of the machine tool. So this uh, stamping machine that we see in front of us, it sits outside of the machine and every billet goes through this and it processes that billet ready for clamping inside the machine. The, uh, the reason why we're doing that is because that means that when you clamp the material inside the machine, you can get extremely high holding forces from a very low input torque on the vise. And, and that means that you're not putting any unnecessary uh, force into the bottom of the material. So when you finish machining and you've removed a lot of the material, it's not relaxing when you undo the vise. It's essentially clamped in a, as close to a free state as you can possibly get. Now we've all been there when we've we've done up one, you've released the vise, it's all twisted and deformed, or you come to do a part which is uh, specifically quite thin, you would have to rough it all out first, release it, let it do what it's gonna do, put it back in. So would that save all these problems that operators or machinists are gonna find? This definitely overcomes that, because essentially, uh, I mean, we have a chart which gives you a, a torque setting for the vices, um, based on the size of the material and what the material is. And, and people are always amazed and surprised by how low a torque you have to actually put onto the vise. So, you know, a piece of aluminium, for argument's sake, that was 100 mil sticking out, you, you know, you're probably only talking that up to like 50 or 60 newton meters. And, and even lower billets, sometimes only 20 newton meters. So, um, and, and clamping it as lightly as you can, but getting a good holding force, it really deadens the vibrations of the material as well. So what the stamper does is A, it makes you get a really good hold of it because it's putting all the force uh, into the material and allowing the teeth on the vise to go into a pre-existing form. But also uh, the teeth on the vise jaws, contrary to kind of what people think, they're actually fractionally higher than on the stamper. And the reason for that is because there's like a, the teeth are like a four-sided pyramid and uh, it's the top face of that pyramid that engages with the material first. And what that does is it actually lifts the weight of the material off of the parallels of the vise, which, you know, most people, they're tapping stuff down with a hammer to make sure it's nice and flat. Our system is actually lifting it up. And the reason for that is because rather than pulling it down to some, a parallel that's completely rigid, the teeth hold it in a free state and that deadens the vibration. So when you're machining even very large billets, you're, you're completely reducing the vibration uh, on the machining process. And let's be honest, we're stood in front of a, a nice DMG, a new DMG Mori, and, but we've seen the, your vices on the grob machine, machining upside down. So does that give an operator full confidence that they're, they're not gonna be able to get that material out because the teeth are actually inside the material, not just on the side of it. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. I mean, as I said, the, the tooth form is like a four-sided pyramid. So it's clamping the material evenly in every direction. So whether you tip it upside down, you tip it on its side and stick a U-drill through it, it's clamping it evenly in, in every direction. So, uh, you know, it, it's um, you can really hit the material as hard as you possibly can. It is not coming out of that vice. Now, just last off on the stamper before we move on. I, um, as you know, we, we travel around the, the UK or the globe, and there's a few, um, there's one thing in particular people are now using the stamper for. I'm not sure it was ever meant for, but people are now using it for um, re repetition. So if they've, they've done a part, took it out and realized it's out of time, so it needs to go back in the machine, they're putting it back in the same teeth and it locates near enough spots.